What's up, YouTube? Now, listen up. We have a strict schedule today. Number one, I'm showing you guys how to do this flawless install from beginning to end. Number two, I'm letting you guys know tips and tricks on how to level up for yourself and on your enemies. Let's get into it. All right, before we get into the video, let's talk about this $100 monthly giveaway, all right? All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, like this video, comment below, and then leave your cash app. One person is gonna have the chance of winning $100 in all the products from this video. Good luck, y'all. All right, what is going on, YouTube? It's your girl, Easy Breezy, and I'm back with another hair tutorial. Now, today we're working with a brand new hair sponsor, one that has never been on my channel yet. So I'm excited to see what their wigs is talking about, okay, period. <laughs> so thank you so much, Original Queen. They gave us this 13 by four straight lace front unit. And I'm going to tell you guys how I got my model's complexion down packed, even her undertone. So, hey, I got a lot of gems to tell y'all. And we're talking about how to level up for yourself and on your enemies, child. All right, so first and foremost, let's talk about this undertone for the lace. So the lace came as white as snow, as you can see. Now I'm not, number one, I'm not racist. <laughs> Let me just throw that out there. But the majority of my models, and I would suspect the majority of the clientele for all these hair companies are shades of brown. Am I right? Or am I right? Okay. So the reason why we are constantly getting white laces, I don't know, but I found a way to fix them. And sometimes I don't do it perfectly, but I'm learning every single day and trying to perfect my craft. So I'm going to show you guys how I got her complexion to basically match the lace almost perfectly. Well, once the baby hairs were done. All right, the first product that I use is this Honey Brown by Kiss. Now, this is a semi-permanent color, and all I do is dip a sponge in it, and I just, like, pat it on the lace on the front and the back. So what this does is it adds the red tones to the lace. Now, if I only added foundation, you know, like brown foundation, it may not look as rich without this reddish brown undertone. All right, so the second product that I use is this cream-based foundation from Ruby Kisses. And I basically take the side that matches my model's complexion the most, you know, dab it with the sponge, and I dab the lace on the top and the bottom. But because this is a cream foundation, it has like a bit of an oiliness to it. So I have to take my Pump It Up Spritz and spray the whole inside of the hairline. So it can create like this film over the foundation and it's like this dry sticky layer on it so the lace can stick to the glue way better all right so i know what some of y'all are thinking girl you didn't even match it <laughs> but one thing i will say is the ring light be making the lace look a lot lighter than it actually is like once we turn this light off and we're in real life or you're looking at the lace through natural sunlight it looks melty as hell <laughs> you know what i'm saying but i think the ring light is kind of throwing y'all off throwing me off and throwing this whole thing off because it's it's not giving the right impression <laughs> <laughs> like it was really fleeky to be honest so now that i made it damn near halfway through the hairstyle and forgot about our topic let's get into it right now all right so how to level up for yourself and on your enemies now i will say this it's not always good to use the hatred for someone else in order for you to do better or you know for that to give you adrenaline but sometimes it does <laughs> sometimes me wanting to sh on someone really makes me work hard and that may be toxic but it is what it is so the first step to leveling up is solitude exclude yourself be by yourself you know spend a few weeks off social media away from friends and away from any other influence indulge in you 
Go to the movies by yourself, go out to eat by yourself, work out by yourself, discover new restaurants by yourself, and really get to know you. So the reason why solitude is number one, because if you don't know yourself, you don't know where you're going. And sometimes when you're around people all the time, your goals kind of just become their goals and their goals become your goals. Y'all swapping ideas and swapping dreams and swapping niggas and y'all just doing too much swapping, <laughs> you know? So you kind of have to remove yourself from that situation and indulge in you get back on your path and not confuse yourself any further. So number two is treat your body right all right when it comes to your physical health what you put in your body how often you work out make sure you treat your body like it's your only body <laughs> and eating right and exercising not only makes you look better but it makes you feel better it naturally increases your vibrations and it just makes you just a better person from the inside out so not only will you be loving yourself so much more having so much more respect and gratitude for yourself seeing your transformation looking finer and finer every day but you're gonna start to exude a different type of confidence that you never even had before so number three how to level up and baby shit on your enemies <laughs> is get smarter <laughs> literally do as much research on your goals as possible because yes we may all have goals but if our minds are not expanded and we don't know how to get there or the quickest or smartest ways to get there it's going to prolong our progression and we may feel stagnant so read books watch youtube videos if you want to invest in airbnbs watch countless videos on starting an airbnb business like just learn 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 soak up as much information as possible so that your next move can be your best move all right number four is move with love just be unbothered even when you have bothered ass people around you trying to shake up your energy you know just be like listen this is not personal this has nothing to do with me the reason why they are being a hater or they're spewing negativity or whatever is going on with them it has nothing to do with me don't take anything personal and lastly just don't let anyone shake up your energy you know i don't care if it's your closest homegirl your family member your own mama like don't let their drama karma or personal problems get in your way all right number five how to turn up for yourself and on your enemies last one is take action less thinking more action <laughs> less planning more action less talking more action <laughs> so don't forget your goals are 100 percent achievable whatever you think in your mind you can have but you know what they say faith without works is what dead so yes paying attention to these areas of your life will most definitely turn you up <laughs> okay period now how to relate this to your quote-unquote enemies you say so basically your enemies really technically have nothing to do with this <laughs> you know it's just a thought in your mind that you're shitting on someone or getting ahead that may you know give you that extra boost but really it has nothing to do with them in all honesty like they're living their life you're living your life and whatever karma they have coming for them is still gonna come because we're perpetuating our own karmic lessons every single day and truthfully whatever karma you have coming to you is still gonna come <laughs> so you know it's really not even about your enemies at all it's really just all about you and before i close this out one thing i'm never going to tell you guys is to try to get revenge on an enemy someone that betrayed you someone that stole from you like like i said before people are perpetuating their own karma every single day by the actions they choose to take so technically there's nothing you could or should do and the worst thing that you can possibly do is actually becoming the very same thing that hurt you so in essence the only way to turn up on an enemy 
is to turn up for who? Right, yourself. All right, all right, all right, all right. So I'm done with the pink curls and now I'm going to let them out and hey, get my comb and my holding spray so we can start sculpting this style. All right, so I made sure I did spray all the pieces of hair with the holding spray before I curled it. So right now the hair is looking really cute, really bouncy. And I think I'm going to leave it with some curl instead of comb it all out and like make it a wave like I normally do. And let's get into this lace, okay, with the color, okay, period. So, um, yeah, I'm really proud. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really proud. Now, I'm still gonna be perfecting my craft, you know, for as long as I can. So if y'all have any lace tinting techniques for me, leave them below. All right, everyone, so this is the final result and I am more than pleased. <laughs> okay, period, I am more than pleased. So once again, thank you so much, Original Queen, for sponsoring this video with this straight 13 by four lace front unit. Now, if you guys want this exact wig, I'm gonna put all the information in the description below. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, make sure you go ahead and do that and turn on your notifications and remember all the steps that i told y'all okay follow those diligently and you are guaranteed to turn up <laughs> see y'all later